Oasis Audio presents Lucado Treasury of Bedtime Prayers by Max Lucado and Dina Lynn Lucado. Read for you by Kathy Garver. Dedicated to the Prayer Warriors of Rafa God Ministries. May God hear every word you say to Him, and may you hear every word He says to you. Max and Dina Lynn Lucado. Dear parents, in raising our girls, Dina Lynn and I have learned that there are many things we can do for them. We can tie their shoes so they don't trip and fall. We can make sure they have warm clothes and full tummies. We can even help them tackle some of the mysteries of higher math. But there are some things that we as parents simply cannot do, no matter how much we may want to or how hard we may try. Here's what parents cannot do. Eliminate all scrapes and bruises. Banish every bully, bad-tempered teacher or cranky friend. Guarantee a level playing field or a fair shake. We'd like our children to be treated nicely, honestly, gently, and respectfully. But we know better. We know what awaits them. Feelings get hurt. Hearts get broken. Tears flow. Friends go. However much we'd like to spare our children the struggles of life, we can't. But we can do this. We can teach them to pray. We can teach them to talk to God about everything, anything, anytime, and all the time. We can't promise an easy life, but we can equip them to face life. We can't be with them always, but God can. So, let's teach our children to pray. Children have a great capacity for faith. They enter the world soft-hearted, open-minded, and wide-eyed. All prerequisites for a prayerful heart. Childhood is the best window for learning prayer. Say, let's pray to a child, and he bows his head and folds his hands. Children also have a great capacity to see the unseen and to imagine the invisible. They aren't beholden to pride, resumes, and appearances. Prayer and act for the humble fits the little child. Let's teach our children to forgive and receive forgiveness. The earlier a child can learn to both give and receive forgiveness, the more he will live a forgiven life. The prayerless child doesn't know what to do with mistakes. Prayer teaches our children to say, I'm sorry, to God. Heaven knows they'll need this ability as adults. Prayer equips them with the dialogue of grace and prepares them to be conduits of forgiveness to themselves and to others. Let's teach our children to hope. Prayer sows the seeds of heaven in the heart of a child. At some point, every child will be disappointed by the troubles of this life. Let's teach them to look to the next life for hope. Prayer, a conversation with heaven, facilitates this. The earlier our children learn that heaven is real, that it's our hometown and a wonderful place God has made for us, the less earthbound they will live, filling their lives with great purpose and a godly perspective. Let's teach our children that God cares. Most of all, Prayer teaches our children the greatest of truths. God listens to us. He cares enough to incline his ear in our direction. He wants to know what we think. He even considers our opinion. Teach your children to pray. As you teach them everything else, piano, reading, bike riding, and sports, teach them the one thing that they can take with them wherever they go. Teach them to pray. Make prayer time a priority. Don't limit your prayer time to a few seconds before bed. 
Eyes are too heavy, and bodies too weary to make this a teachable moment. Find some prime real estate on the daily calendar and stake it off as prayer time. Give it the same emphasis you would give homework or baseball practice. Kids discern what matters by the amount of time given to it. Let them see. Prayer matters. Model prayer. At mealtimes and bedtimes, of course. But in good times and tough times, make prayer the go-to tool for your family. Raise them in a house where prayer is the predicted practice, not the extreme exception. Be the parent who responds to traffic jams with a prayer, not anger. Enter every activity over the threshold of prayer. As your child begins to study for the big test, Lord, open our minds as we read, or goes out the door for the big game, Lord, keep us alert as we play. Let your children see you take your concerns to God. Spare them the empty, rote, and meaningless prayers. Expose them to your heartfelt requests. God, I have too much to do. Please help. Lastly, teach your child the power of reading and memorizing the prayers of others. Many of the ones you read in this book are time-tested, loved, and appreciated by generations. Others, like the ones we have written, are more recent. Read them all. Memorize your favorites and repeat them with your kids. By doing so, you'll instill a vocabulary of faith in their hearts that will help shield them their whole lives through. May God help you teach your child to be a child of prayer. Max and Dina Lynn